Hey, what's up guys? ShepDog25 here. Uh, again, I'm going to do this vlog kind of while I'm driving. Um, I got uh, some pretty decent feedback. Uh, it's a lot of familiar faces that uh, I haven't talked to in a while, but I definitely remember um, commenting. And uh, I really appreciate you guys hanging around. Uh, I really mean that from the bottom of my heart. Um, I think it's really cool that uh, you guys are still there. And I mean, I've talked to a few of you. I remember definitely uh, a, few, a couple of you that commented. I remember talking to you specifically in the past. Um, I think I am going to go ahead with with this iPhone. It kind of makes things really nice. Um, that way, I can make quick, you know, maybe five minute videos here and there, uh, just to kind of talk about everything that's on my mind, or um, you know, just anything. Um, so I think I am going to stick around. And um, that wasn't this. Yeah, no, take that back. Um, I was thinking about shutting down Chef Dog Twenty Five name. Is coming up with a new one, but. Uh, my good friend Fran had uh, wanted me to keep them up, and I think she's right. Uh, I'll keep them up, and you know, past videos are uh, always something cool to go look back on, I guess, and and uh, see for me to see comments from people and uh, see because sometimes they still get watched now, and uh, people comment on them, so that's kind of cool. Um, sorry, I'm getting ready to make a turn here. I'm driving. It's been really nice weather, by the way, in Ohio. It's about went from uh, 19 degrees over the weekend freezing cold to it's Tuesday now and it's like 54 but it's windy it's like blowing my truck around everywhere um, that's off topic um, I did want to say a quick thing um, I don't know I'm sure a lot of you have seen SMP films um, he's Corey Mr. Safety uh, he, he used, he, he's big uh, big on YouTube um, or he was, and I'm sure he still is now. Um, he had a video on his vlog channel, Dude Like Hella, um, about positivity, because he's had some uh, pretty negative things happen in his life within the last couple years. And um, he was just saying how he wasn't going to let, you know, negative things get him down anymore. He wasn't going to be so upset and blah, blah, blah. And uh, it's actually a really good video. You guys should definitely watch it. Um, if, especially if you need a boost kind of in life. I was kind of always negative there for a little while and uh, it didn't help that um, I don't really, you know, during the week it's hard for me to see my son and my wife and, you know, just the stresses with school and work and I was just always irritated all the time because I was getting no sleep and um, so I, you know, after that video kind of impacted me like you know, it should be more positive in this world, and um, you know, try not to let, it's not don't don't dwell on the like negativity of life, more the positivity. Because um, if you dwell on the negativity, you're just not going to live a happy life. You're going to be miserable, and uh, you know, nobody wants that. So, I've been trying to focus on, you know, you know, all the good things. Like when I do get to spend time with my wife or my son, I make the best of it, make the most of it. I, I take advantage of the time rather than just being mad that I don't get enough time with them and being grateful uh, that my work is paying for me to go to school. Um, I kind of took that for granted and that is a rare thing to have for a company to pay for me to go to school and into a great trade and a great career. Um, so I think that's awesome and I've definitely taken you know my initiative with schooling. Uh, so far, knock on wood, I've gotten straight A's in my classes. Um, so hopefully that stays and continues to do well. Um, again, sorry I keep looking away, but I don't want to wreck, and so I'm going to keep looking up and down. Um, so anyways, to be back on topic, uh, just the fact that I got my school paid for, and, you know, I know my wife and my son obviously love me and are behind me no matter what. Um, it just sucks to, when you, when I get to see him, because, like, two days a week I get to see him for an hour between work and school and then the other two days I don't see him at all because I go straight to school from work and uh I don't know just that face when he looks at you when you're leaving is like the most depressing thing ever but I'm doing it for him I'm doing it for my family and in the long run it'll be worth it you know and so I'm pretty grateful and uh you know I was getting down because I had my side work I have to do on um 
Saturdays and Sundays, but you know, that's, that's extra money that not everybody gets to do that. So I'm trying to look at everything positively, you know, got some bad habits that I'm trying to work on, especially with my language, uh, especially around my son. I'm trying to really, um, help myself with, you know, watching my language and being careful what I say. Um, cause I got I got I can, I can have a sailor's mouth and, uh, it's definitely something I need to fix because I don't want my son to be repeating that. Um, and, you know, I have a real bad habit with chewing my fingernails. I know that sounds disgusting, but it's just a habit. And I've been doing real well. I haven't, you know, even though it sounds stupid and small, it's, I call it a small victory that I have not, you know, chewed on my nails or anything. Because I do it out of stress. It's like a stress reaction, you know, you start chewing on your fingers, chewing our fingernails and skin and stuff. And uh, I haven't done that for pff, over a month now, so pretty happy with that. And uh, I don't know, it's just pretty cool. Uh, pretty happy. Uh, I'm definitely trying to make the best out of life. I still, you know, have my improvements to make. Everybody does, but uh, I'm trying to make a difference and trying to make, you know, get 110% out of life because we all know that uh, time on this on this planet's not. It seems long, but sometimes it seems long. But the older you get, the more things put go in perspective. That uh, you know, time is of the essence, especially when you have a child and seeing him grow just before your eyes. It's like, you know, <clears throat> my boy's almost 16 months old, and I feel like I just brought him home literally yesterday. So <clears throat> if that puts it in perspective, it's pretty uh, pretty crazy. Um, but uh, to end this video because I don't want him going too long. Um, uh, there's a couple things that I did want to do my next couple videos to talk about anyway um, I won't be able to do anything like with my actual video camera uh, Right now I'm finishing my basement and uh, we're trying to you know we got all the drywall up and uh, We're doing the spackling now um, So all the framing and drywalling is done and then once that's done then I'll get to paint and then we get to put the ceiling in and then uh, or the drop it's a drop ceiling with tile and uh, and then I'll put the flooring in and we'll be good and then I'll have my computer back up and for right now my desktop is down um, I have internet in my house but I can't like the only really place that I can put it is downstairs my desktop and obviously I can't do that because we have drywall and tools and everything everywhere so uh, I'm kind of limited with that with, with doing just iPhone videos uh, which is completely fine which I love this phone by the way if you do not have an iPhone I had a droid and I know this could be another topic for another video, but the iPhone is by far the best phone that you can have. And uh, But I did uh, play Gears of War 3. I beat it. And I, I think I mentioned that. So I would like to talk about Gears of War 3. I know it's an older game. Um, I'm in the middle playing Saints Row 3 right now. I freaking love it. I absolutely love the Saints Row series. I beat the first and second one. And I'm like 25% through maybe 30%. Uh, 29 percent 29 percent through uh the campaign so uh definitely loving that game i got batman and i love the first one but i am having trouble staying with the second one i played it for like two or three days and i was like really forcing myself to play it so I, that's why i started playing saints row and maybe i just need a break from it and it'll get my get me back into it uh but uh, wow this video is going a lot longer than i figured it would um and Lastly, I have Call of Duty, uh, Modern Warfare 3. I have not played the campaign. I played a little bit of it on Christmas with uh, my brother-in-law, uh, just the multiplayer. It's Call of Duty. I mean, I'm kind of getting a little burnt out with Call of Duty a little bit, uh, to be honest with you. Um, it's been there, done that about a thousand times, so I don't know. We'll see. I, I'm just really intrigued with Saints Row. I mean, if you have not played the Saints Row series... You can get the first and second one dirt cheap. I, I love them 20 times more than I like Grand Theft Auto. Um, it's just, I don't know what it is. I just absolutely love it. Um, so I would highly recommend Saints Row over Grand Theft Auto, honestly. And I know I'll get a lot of crap for that, but it's just the way I am. So, uh, but yeah, okay, almost 10 minutes. Um, really ending against now. So I got some things I'd like to talk about over the next couple days. I'll be trying to upload maybe every day or two just while I make while I'm, you know, towards the end of my day and driving or, or something like that. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thank you for your support. Thank you very much. And uh, I just wanted to say love you all. Peace.